You're watching Prime, Canada's entertainment network. Or drunk, they prefer to drive because he feels he's in no condition, you know, to walk. <laughs> <laughs> if you drink too much whiskey, you are under the influence. But if you are drinking too much champagne, you are under effluent. <laughs> drinking makes you feel actually like a new person. Ah, but makes you look like an old one. <laughs> anyway, we are here to do a lot of cooking and not drinking. And this time I want to show you two of my very favorite dishes. As a matter of fact, one of them called the beef if tomato. Oh, <laughs> I can hardly wait because that's the one I first started cooking. It's so easy. And the second one is also called beef. It's called beef with snow pea. You can grow your own snow peas in your backyard and take the pea off and cook something else. Some people call them pea pot. <laughs> Well, that's what it is. Why don't you come and join me at the counter, okay? <laughs> Very easy. All right, write it down now. You need two pieces of green onion, and then uh, maybe four or five or even three tomato, <laughs> and then a piece of uh, beef and some garlic ginger, that is enough for your first dish. If you go to the second one, you need some snow peas, a bunch of them, and get some colorful vegetables like red pepper, and uh, mushroom, and carrot. Again, a couple pieces of beef, that's all you need. And every time, if you want to have the recipe, you should write to me. At the end of the show, we got the P.O. box number there, so don't forget, if you can't follow, okay? <laughs> Thank you very much. Here we are, we are going to start cooking. <laughs> wow! Boy, this is something else. Huh. Every time we do the show, we always have an apron. If I don't have an apron, I feel like being naked. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> now we're going to do the first one. Because that's the one I learned when I was a little boy. I learned a lot of things when I was a little boy. <laughs> Some of them I cannot mention here. Now, for example, you know, we, how, we learn how to uh, make picking duck and all those things. You need your onion. I mean a green onion. Cut it into the length of one inch. That's it. Put it to the side. Then you get your tomato. Now I'd like to show you how to cut your tomato very easily with a cleaver. This is a very clever cleaver. Now just go like this. Now go around this uh, the, the, the stem, whatever you want to call. Uh, now, there. And like that. Now then your stem is there and the rest of the tomato is there. You waste nothing. This is very easy. Now we just keep on going. Now watch this. I want to show you one more time. Look at this, this uh, whatever you want to call right here. You can put your finger there <laughs> so you never cut that one. That's it there. Oh, that one is gone. Put your finger. This is very, very effective. Okay, and it's all nutritious. You know, this dish is full of vitamin, full of everything, protein, you know, because the beef is there, full of iron. 
particular if your walk is rusty. <laughs> that is really full of iron. Now, then you put all those things. Oh, yes. Now, the next thing you need is to get some ginger and garlic. Oh, your ginger. Cut it into smaller pieces. Ginger root. All right. There you are. Cut it into small pieces. Like that. And then get your garlic. Crush it and skin it. Works all the time. Move it to the side. Then you start your beef. Get a piece of beef. The frying sticks. Roughly about four to five ounces. And make sure you slice it across the grain. The grain go up and down, you just slice it across the grain like this. Now, don't worry. You don't even have to look. It will just make you nervous, that's all. Because if anything happens, you will feel it. <laughs> okay. Now you get this? Oh yes, relax. This is ridiculous. Now, it depends on how much beef you like, you know, you can add more if you want. Okay, then you just put it in a bowl and start marinating. Oh yes, start your marination. Okay, now you put all the uh, spicy vegetable on top of your cleaver, then you know that you have to cook that first. Okay, marinate your beef, use a little bit of Chinese cooking wine, a little bit. Oh, tenderizer, and put a little bit, what we call the tapioca starch, to make a smooth taste on the beef. All right, and then some light soy sauce. Light soy sauce is used for stir fry, okay, because you don't want to stain your food. Dark soy sauce is for you to use to do some staining and cooking as well. Okay, so that's a big difference. A few drops of sesame seed oil, that's all you have to have to do. All right, that's it. Now we are ready. Okay, I hope we are ready. <laughs> if you are not ready, you know, you better get ready. Because this thing is not going to wait for you to get ready. It's very easy. If you get everything organized and start your cooking. Chinese cooking is just like making love. The actual cooking time is very short. <laughs> it's the preparation that really helps. <laughs> Advanced preparation. Now, when the wall is hot, two tablespoons go. One, two, of whatever in the pot. Oil, I think. <laughs> then when it's hot, you put the ginger garlic right in. When it's hot, then you put your cow in. <laughs> Not the whole cow. Holy cow. Then you put all this thing in. This beef. Keep on turning. Now, you see? If your wok is hot, before you cook, then the beef will not get stuck to the bottom of the wok. That is the trick. All right, remember that. A lot of the people don't wait. They just put the whole thing in the wok before you get a chance to heat up the beef. And that's no good at all. Then the food will get stuck. Then you spend the whole evening washing your wok instead of eating. Now then, after the meat, Begin to change color, then you put all the tomato or tomato, whatever you want to call, right in. Mix it up. Oh, they look so ridiculous. Put a little bit of salt. Ah, half teaspoonful. And then some sugar. <laughs> ah, and put a little bit of water. Use this, this one. The water is really fantastic. Oh, that's all. Just one tablespoon. Depends on the size of the table, of course. <laughs> now then you cover this. 
you know, let it cook for roughly about half of a minute. And then you just get one teaspoonful of your tapioca star right there and put some water in. Okay? Now, okay. Oh, that's it. You know, that's all. Again, put a little bit oyster flavor sauce, which is really, really good. Now. Particularly when you are cooking stir fry dishes. We use it in the restaurant all the time. Now, all right, then we are ready. You can see the steam coming from the side of the of the lid. You can see the steam. And that is ready. Okay, take it off. Move the food to the side to allow the juice come to the center. And then you put all those, uh, uh, whatever it is, in the bowl, the salt. And then put it in the center until it comes to a boil. And that is ready. And this is my very, very first Chinese cooking dish when I was having my breakfast in China. We don't have all those uh, special breakfasts in a box. You have to cook it. You got Chinese food in the morning, Chinese food in the afternoon, and Chinese food in the evening. No wonder you will look Chinese. <laughs> Now, then you put all those yummy beef with tomato into the plate. Now, don't go away. I'll be right back after this message. This is Mark. This is Mark's Zantac 75. Mark didn't take his Zantac 75 and his food is coming back to haunt him. When your food comes back to haunt you, take Zantac 75. Its medicine is the number one doctor prescribed acid reducer. Zantac 75. Ever wonder if there's another way to remove hair? Get Velvet Touch, the remarkable hair removal mitten. You'll be amazed at how easily Velvet Touch removes unwanted hair. With just one application, your skin will feel smoother, softer. Imagine no more shaving, creams, or costly electrolysis. Velvet Touch is non-toxic, non-allergenic. Pack it along. Get Velvet Touch today. Also, try DepiFace for facial hair. Available at pharmacies and other retail outlets. Prime has some of TV's all-time greatest. TV Guide says Archie Bunker is the greatest character in television history. As sure as you're sitting there. And the gang on Cheers proved there's nothing so valuable as true friendship. I love to help you. TV Guide calls Hawkeye Pierce TV's most layered, compassionate subversive. Am I ranting? I hope so. You know, my ranting gets raves. All in the family Cheers and Mash, part of TV Guide's all-time top ten shows on Prime. Want your dress to do up as easy as this? It can be as easy as this. Nutribar. Easy weight loss. If you love great food and travel, tune into Taste of Life and let Catherine Blythe take you to exciting destinations. It's an adventure into great food and travel. Taste of Life, Fridays on Prime, Canada's entertainment network. to cook up another quick dish something to do with beef now this is the flank steak again normally this is the amount of meat that I use four ounces to feed my family of six <laughs> it's true <laughs> we are on a very tight budget <laughs> well you can do that why not too much meat is no good for you anyway you might run out of cow you cannot grow cow as fast as the vegetable, see? So first, you slice your uh, beef at the thickness of one eighth of an inch. Now, do it slowly like this, eh? Slowly, please, if you are not in a hurry. If you are in a hurry, you just go like crazy. <laughs> That's it. 
Ah, more. All right. Very interesting and exciting to do Chinese cooking with a cleaver. And also, it's very peaceful. When you have the cleaver in your hand, nobody will talk back to you. <laughs> All right. Now, in order to make the dish colorful, I cut up some of this carrot. Okay. And then also, I added some of this Chinese BS, bamboo shoot. All right. Very good. Now, now, if you want to make it more colorful, don't cut your finger. Use the red pepper. This is going to be quite a dish. Then, if you like, you can add one mushroom. <laughs> cut it into three parts. One, two, three. <laughs> See how economical it is. Get a bunch of peas, I mean snow peas, right here. And then, use your ginger. Now, if you don't like to eat ginger at all, but you want the taste, this is the way to do it. You put your whole piece of ginger and use your cleaver. Ha! Huh. <laughs> then you can squeeze the juice. What the heck? Get some, uh, whatever I'm cutting, garlic. <laughs> Garlic is really good. I wish I can eat more. But my wife won't allow me. All right, you get that. And then you get your beef. Oh, put all those things right there to the side. And then you put everything, all this vegetable. And then use a wok cover and push everything right to the edge. Ha! Ah. Oh! My goodness, before I cook, I'd like to show you how to uh, look after whatever it is. Green <laughs> snow peas, that's right. No. <laughs> when you're cooking all the time, you know, you don't care what's the name of it. <laughs> just like when you're going out with the same girl, you just say hi. You don't have to know the name. <laughs> now, okay, look at the end here. The end, it has a little stem from the plant and, and you should start off from this end, peel this to that end, it's broken. So just take off this end and forget about the rest. And that's the way. You don't want to eat the other one because it's not very good for digestion. Now here we go. We marinate your beef again. This time I want to try something different. First, Chinese cooking wine. Always. Then put some Chinese five spice powder. Five different kinds. One, two, three, four, five. Five different kinds. Put some tapioca starch. I use it all the time. One tablespoon for now because it's a lot of beef this time. And then some light color soy sauce. All right. Oh, use five oozes. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> That's all you have to do? <laughs> five oozes of sesame seed oil. One, two, three, four, five. Everything is five. That's all I can calm because I only have five fingers. All right, you get that. And then just mix this thing up and then heat up your hot water. Oh, one and then two, two tablespoons. Put your ginger in first. Because you don't want to eat the ginger. All right, put the ginger in for about 10 seconds. Then you take it off, replace it with your garlic. All right. Mmm, smells terrific. Then you put all the beef in when the oil is hot. Oh, yeah. Ah, smells. The whole studio smells terrific. When you go home, make sure you wash your hair. <laughs> now you got that? And then you, if you don't like to uh, stir, you can, you know, do it like this. Mix the food, do the walking for you. Now see? Just shake, shake, shake. Like that. 
Oh, hmm, that's unreal. Now, then when the beef, you know, almost change the color, then you put all the vegetables in, all of them. All right, and mix it up with some salt. Oh, there you are. Really easy and colorful. And then you add some water. Okay. One and then two. That's all. And cover it up with a lid. Then you just wait. If you like, you can make your sauce. Your gourmet sauce again. You know, one tablespoon of your tapioca starch. To some water. Do, 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 do. Put some of the oyster flavor sauce. It's so routine. <laughs> I wish we can cook something else. <laughs> <laughs> and put some of the sugar, a little bit, not much. Where is it? Is it really sugar? You're kidding. Oh, I see the sign here. Sugar. <laughs> Whoopee! <laughs> Now, you can see that the steam is coming, so the whole thing is ready. You just put some of the sauce right in the middle. Oh, yes. And wait until it comes to a boil. That's all you have to do. And get your plate ready. This is a very, very tender dish. Called the beef with uh, snow pea. Now, you pick it up. Very easy and interesting. Don't go away. Come and share with us. I'll be right back. Rox introduces the easy new way to clean and disinfect. Bacteria on the kitchen counter, messes in the bathroom, all over your house. Introducing Clorox disinfecting and cleaning wipes for garbage cans, diaper pails, telephone. Want your dress to do up as easy as this? It can be as easy as this. Nutribar. Easy weight loss. A canola crop in Canada yields a more bountiful harvest. A patient has a medicine she needs. A boy can survive a childhood disease. A corn crop can protect itself from certain pests. Because discoveries in biotechnology are helping to treat our sick and protect our crops. Biotechnology researchers test and test to find new solutions. Solutions that are improving lives today and could improve our world tomorrow. It's back, our tasty rotisserie quarter chicken dinner and Woody Sunday special. Your Sunday looks yummy, Woody. Introducing the only disinfecting spray that kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria around the clock. And it isn't Lysol. Introducing new Clorox disinfecting spray, a breakthrough in fighting bacteria. Watch, Lysol's protection fades as the surface is touched, but Clorox keeps killing 99.9% .9 of bacteria around the clock up to 24 hours. New Clorox disinfecting spray, the only spray that kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria for 24 hours. So, are you going to make it over tonight? Yeah, there's a movie on I want to see. It's called My Wilting Beloved. I, I've seen that. Really? Uh, yeah, it's a tale of passion and how the love a gardener has for a southern socialite grows as wild as his tiger lilies. Nice try. Rogers Digital Choice TV. Interactive program guide, lots more movies, unique programming, digital music. Imagine. This is my accent. It's sporty, roomy, and easy to carry. Elantra has all the features that make it a great fit for my family, including a lease that leaves me sitting pretty. 
Sonata has air, power everything, and an engine that really moves. And a lease that's making them disappear. You'll find amazing deals at Hyundai's Eye Opener Sales Event. Move up the two basic dishes that I learned when I was a little boy. The beef with snow peas and mushroom. And it looks so appetizing. Moving along to the other side. Now this is the onion. Don't eat that. <laughs> Raw onion that I use it for decoration. You have this tomato with beef. The result of this cooking, I hope you enjoy this. How do you like uh, our show so far? I love your show and I love your food. It looks delicious. Really? Mm -hmm. Have you ever tried some of our recipes? I haven't, but I'm going to. Well, sure. I hope so. Okay. Now, maybe before we get into the eating business, we should read. Oh, great. Good, okay. All right. It says, Chin gum la mai. Chin gum yum. You make me nervous. I'm making nervous. You make me nervous. I can't even read Chinese. <laughs> it means an inch of time cannot be purchased with an inch of gold. Make sense? It makes if the time goes by and you don't use your time, you no matter how rich you are, you cannot call back the time. Well, let's make the best of our time. That's right. Let's mix the best and then get down to eating. Right. Would you like to try some of this, uh, I'd love to. whatever it is, you know, right over there? Yeah. The beef with... Uh, no peas. Okay. I have go to ahead. Decent. Of course. How about if I use them this way? <laughs> no. Is that fair? No, Can't it's not fair. Them. No, no, no. You have to try. I thought you cook Chinese food all the time. No. No? I cook, uh, what do you cook? Kentucky Fried Chicken. You know, something. <laughs> No, 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 no. You can't do that. I can't do that. Yep, okay. Uh, see how it works. Hey, 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 what's the matter? Hey, try some more. Uh, Don't worry about it. Huh? Okay, I won't worry about it. I understand I you're a telephone operator. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I work for the telephone company, but I'm not a... Oh, really? Do you know you, you should use a chopstick to tie your phone? <laughs> <laughs> and also to tell your executive, this is your call, <laughs> this is yours. I'll try that. If they don't like it, you just throw this at them. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the way to go. Well, okay. Okay, Eat some, some more? Some oh, yeah. Now you keep on eating, all right? all right? Unfortunately, this is the end of this show. Make sure you watch us next time to see more cooking. Goodbye. <laughs> For today's fantastic recipes, please write to me at each address. Next, it's Original Girl Power. See your favorite bottled blonde in I Dream of Jeannie. Coming up next, here on Prime, Canada's Entertainment Network.